again. So, you get a break from truck videos this week. Yay. <laughs> I bet everybody's happy about that one. Yeah. <laughs> I like them more than most people. <laughs> but, we are on our way to Indiana to visit family. So, we'll be up there three days. Yeah. So, the goal today is to maybe make it north Tennessee, southern Kentucky kind of area. Then we'll stop for the night. Then get there the rest of the way tomorrow. Spend a few days visiting and then same thing on the way back. On the way back, we do plan on taking a little different route home. I've mapped out some properties throughout Tennessee and snuck a couple Kentucky ones in. <laughs> Shanna has said no to Kentucky, but... I said no unless it's like on the border Initially you said none Tennessee. at all. You'd said none at all. You've softened a little. <laughs> I'm wearing you down. I've got lots of practice at that. So, on the way back, we'll stop and look at a few different properties, kind of start specking out some areas in Tennessee. If we stay in Georgia, we know the areas we want to stay. So now we're going to do the same thing for Tennessee. And then we'll kind of go from there. Because by next spring, we hope to be getting pretty darn serious about where we're going to end up. For now, we have no clue. But we'll try to get some footage of some stuff as we go record anything neat we see if there's anything not sure how much we'll stop and then we'll see how much we record while we're there visiting family i know most family won't want a camera on them so <laughs> i doubt the gopro comes out too much while we're with the family stuff but we'll see how much we record and keep you guys up to date Good morning. It's day two of the trip. Last night was a mixed bag. We got way further than I expected yesterday. Goal was to get to Bowling Green. We got half hour, 45 minutes past that. So made good time, went ahead and stopped, chilled for the evening. Found an awesome place to eat. Little burger shack place right across the street over there. Too much food though. Yeah. I know to go smaller next time. <laughs> and Definitely not your healthy option, but if you want no. good food, awesome. So that was good. Hotel's super nice, but we are very picky hotel sleepers. So room was pretty bright. And oh yeah, air conditioning. I'm picky about air conditioners at hotels. They should all have the fan that can be on all the time. This one would cycle on and off all night, which annoys me, but anyway. And you can hear stuff. Yep, yes, yeah, so then you hear all the outside stuff, other rooms, whatever. But that's why we love our camper. Would prefer to be in the camper, but this is quicker, cheaper, really. But, well, and I should say cheaper because I'm using points from traveling for work. Otherwise, the camper would be way cheaper. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, we got about three, three and a half hours to go to get up to Indy. So we'll get on the road. Good morning and welcome to Indiana. So we got up here before noon yesterday, went and spent the day at her parents' house. Got back to the hotel last night and crashed because we slept awful the night before. The hotels definitely make you, well, they make us miss the camper. A lot. <laughs> the campers ruined us. Yes. So hopefully next trip we'll be bringing that and hanging out a little bit longer, but if we get anything, we're gonna show you guys, but 
I mean, it's Indiana, not a whole lot to show, especially when you grew up here. When you go, wherever you grew up, it's, you don't think it's that fun, so. But we're up here, we're in Noblesville currently, just walking the dog. Well, he was walking. <laughs> But anyway, pan around, not much to see out here. Hotel's super nice. We've stayed here before though. It's the Embassy Suites in Noblesville. Lots of stuff around here though. You got the music center and tons of restaurants and still kind of quiet. And good spot to walk the dogs. So <clears throat> We're getting ready to head out. Go see some more people today. We'll keep you posted with progress. Come on, Michael. So, we're out here spending the day with some family. And you can see behind me, even though they say there's more than corn in Indiana, there's still a lot of corn in Indiana. And I was telling Shannon a little bit ago, Indiana can fool you come the right time of year it is freaking awesome kind of makes you miss it oh echo's turning us around yeah this time of year is about the perfect time to come out here but you know three months from now it's going to be awful and five months from now just ridiculous but for now we're having a good time awesome weather enjoying it so spending the day here Tomorrow we go to my parents for the day. And then Sunday, start making our way back. I'm trying to figure out where we want to go on the way back. Might head over through Knoxville. Not quite, quite sure yet, but we'll see. See what we can find, what we can get into. In the meantime, I'm out here hanging with Echo. one back in the car. He, he's just like looking at all these cars like this is crazy. Yeah, this is nuts. Uh -huh. It is no longer worth going to Bucky's on a trip. Nope. You have to schedule it as a destination yep. or a stop on the trip. On the trip, on the way there, yeah. If you make it a stop on the trip and this is just an event you're doing, it's worth it. Yeah. If you're trying to make good time. It is not. Yeah, we lost a half an hour to try to stop at Bucky's. Okay, so we're on our way home. Pretty good trip. Saw almost everyone we wanted to see. Well, we'd like to see a lot more, but the, the key players all got seen. So Shannon and I are sitting here at a rest stop on the state line between Kentucky and Tennessee. So it's kind of decision time. The idea was to take our time getting back, check some places out. A few of the places I wanted to see sold. A few of the others are too far off the path. It would, make the trip home way too long so we may just beeline home so we're deciding whether we want to drive all day and get there today or stop in a couple hours sightsee I think Shanna's leaning towards straight home that is my decision oh so it's not leaning it's her decision <laughs> I it's up to him he's the one driving but so we're about, I would like to go home we're about five and a half hours from home with if we don't stop anymore We'll have to stop one more we, time. We need gas for sure once. Yep. And it's one o'clock, so one or two stops. We could get home by eight, so we'll probably go ahead and try to push through and get there. So not as much sightseeing on the way back as we'd planned on sharing with you. 
but hopefully by spring we can plan just a whole week up here and bring the camper and just bounce around so and in about a two weeks yeah two weeks we go back camping again yeah so we got two more trips so. coming up so we'll have our chances to get out there so we're gonna hit the road So we made it home. I know this wasn't the most eventful travel video since we just went home to visit family, but made good time today. We left there 8 a.m. this morning, made it back home about seven. So consider it's us and the dog, pretty good time. But that'll wrap up this video and we'll see you guys next week.